Megan Miller, aka Future Girl for PopSci.com, and today we're here at lovely Columbia University to talk to an expert about houses of the future. In 1923, the Swiss architect Le Corbusier famously said that a house is a machine you can live in. There's no question that today's integrated technologies, such as wireless networks and high-tech security systems, are pointing toward more and more houses that are increasingly machine-like. So what does that mean for the future? Are we going to live in Jetsons houses? Earth ships? Space pods? Let's go talk to an expert and find out. We have here Dr. Barry Bergdahl, an art history professor at Columbia University and the new curator of architecture and design at the Museum of Modern Art. Um, what do you think the house of the future will look like? One of the biggest revolutions that we're living through now is you might call the revolution of mass customization. You know, in the past when one thought of, say, a factory-built house or anything that would be produced by the latest technology of the day, the aim would be uh, and both, and the fear would be that everyone would have to live in a cookie cutter house that would look exactly the same. But mass customization is such that you can get extraordinarily personal variation out of uh, a set of materials. So you're talking about sort of modular units that you could fit together into the house that you want based on things that are sort of pre-designed? That would be at one scale, uh -huh. but it might even be that the elements of that module might be composed in very different ways. So there are all different scales that this can happen on. Digital design to digital fabrication, mm -hmm. which is meaning that architects now communicate directly to the factory. Right. Uh, um, can you talk about any particular architect or school of thought that excites you in this futuristic vein? I think of one architect I just visited in Germany when I was there. It's an architect named Jürgen Meyer H. And he thinks about all sorts of uh, membranes that are sensitive and intelligent, thinks about really intelligent materials. What does that uh, mean? Like, like on the outside of the house? Uh, or uh, where are these membranes? They located? might be a kind of intelligent skin that could be sensitive to touch and do certain things so that you don't necessarily flick a switch, but that uh, different wow. surfaces can, can respond. Materials themselves doing things, not only being performed Formative in terms of strength, but being themselves conductors of information. We already touch them on our ATM machines where you just touch the screen and get what you want instead of uh, pressing a button. And he's exploring some of these things to actually think about the way we come in contact with space. Do you think we'll ever live in space? <laughs> uh, sounds like you want to go I live in do space. so bad. This is Dr. Barry Bergdahl, a curator of architecture and design at NOMA. <laughs>